All right, Tim, welcome back uh, to the ongoing day five uh, for the Selenium training. Not planning to have a very long session uh, because I want each of you to start to watch some of these videos that I've been mentioning. I'm going to try and mention that again before I move forward because very important that you watch them and that will give us a good pace to move forward with things. Okay, We will be doing a combination of JUnit and TestNG as well. Uh, more uh, we will try and work towards test ng uh, than jnit because there's a lot on jnit so for sure team the series on 02 which is there in the selenium recorded topics uh, eclipse rc and jnit basics you should watch them okay uh, so these three videos will give you a good idea about everything okay when you need to work with and you can continue to go in that order and look at and overall all right now um, the other videos I was talking about is this read and write into Excel. In this, I have explained at depth how does that operation work overall. What we will do is we will take the learnings from those and apply it with a quick overview instead of going in depth. That way we can achieve more in terms of project execution uh, than staying at the high level. Okay. All right, team. So what we started to do as part of that eclipse is we went into the. Uh, let me open up eclipse. We started to parameterize the test. So basically, define uh, and initialize the variables, right? So we will try and achieve something more uh, towards this and more important going forward. Look at the whole logic of the application. What is the logic of this application team? The logic is if I give certain values as test data, at the moment we're only worried about one. Okay, So these numbers in gray, which are the expenses, get added up and that is compared with that expense total. And then we have that income total. So these values are coming from that application. Right? So we expect a result and we're getting an output from the application. So to achieve a better progress on this, what we will be doing is we will expand this whole thing and try and get the other two sets of information from the app. So quickly going back to that app where that is, there you go. And we go to this budget calculators out here. So I get the total expenses out here. I get the total income out here. And we will get the uh, total borrowed amount out here. Correct? So let's enter some dummy data manually. All right? Just a couple of sets of data. Then I'll have 300 and 100. Now, when I click on calculate, I get this number, I get this number, and I get this number. Right. So how will we get these results team? I have to give a command to capture these results. The way we have done earlier is we have used IDE to let us help there. But then we started writing our own X path for it. Okay. Most importantly, where from that where has to be answered. What do we need to do then? And where do we store this information? Those are the sets of data that we need to provide. Now let's look at our code and see where in this code are we going to do that. So I'm going to uh, save this as oops, ddf1 underscore 3. That is the current version of it. Now if you see that we used Selenium which is the object that is referring to our browser.